preaching tonight. Amen. Amen. Victory. Amen. Now let me help somebody right here. After a while, you got to learn how to fight for yourself. Amen. You grow up. Yep. But you got to know that you are a son of God. Yes. Let's go further in the scriptures. Can we walk a little further? God, I thank you. Ah, Jesus. Mm. Let's see where I'm going to walk right here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Yeah. Second Peter, second Peter. Second Peter chapter one. Verse number two. I'm not going to mess with all of this tonight. I'll, I'll deal with it down through eight later. But let me just start with these couple. Verse number two says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Can I stop right there and work for a moment? Mm -hmm. Grace and peace get multiplied in your life when you know your God. And what the text says? Grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge. How many of you could use some more grace? How many of you could use some more peace? The more you know God and the knowledge of his son Jesus, you develop and receive that grace. Now watch this. It's not that there's any more or any less grace available to you. Watch this. Because when sin is about grace, there's what? Much more about. So there's grace. The grace is just there. But what happens is when your when the revelation comes about grace, when you begin to understand what's really available to you in that place called grace, it'll change you forever. And it only happens through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. You want, okay, another text. It says, they that know their God shall be strong. King James says, and do exploits. Exploits means you go and you take territory. You go and you win battles. They that know their God. Let me be very clear about the saints. It is by way of your intimacy with the Father. Intimacy. Connection with the Father. Spending time with Him. Having relationship with Him. It is by doing that that you begin to know Him. You start to know His ways. You start to be sensitive to His heart. Am I talking good right there? Anybody want to be sensitive to the heart of the Father? Amen. When my children were little, I'm going to show you two things about my kids. When they were little, when they were babies, how they would go to sleep. I know they say you're not supposed to do this before a while. How they would go to sleep. Now, it's interesting. Nothing against my, my, my ex-wife or anything like that, but my children used to fall asleep on my chest. I don't care how she tried to put them on her chest to put them to sleep, they would not go. But if I put them on my chest, they would go to sleep just like that. They had peace. Because their, their ear was close to the Father's heart. Amen. Y'all get that? Amen. You will have peace when your ear is close to the Father's heart. For the longest, and even now, my kids, especially my son, they are connected to me. Because they're so used to daddy's heart. Amen. Sometimes my son will text me, Daddy, what's on? He says, Dad, what's on your mind? What you doing? How you doing? Because he wants daddy's heart. Yeah. Not that he's trying to get something from me. He just wants daddy's heart. Watch this. Now, when they were younger, I, I used to work in sales. And so I worked out in the field. I was out in the you know, field sales. And I was going out there. And pretty much that meant almost every day if I didn't bring a bag or something, I had to go buy food. 
So usually we go to restaurants or whatever, and I'm, I'm, it might look like I eat a lot. <laughs> I really don't eat that much. Most of the time if I get it, if I get a plate of food, it'll be something I take home and I'll, I'll warm up later. My kids got accustomed to this. So when I walk in the door, they wanted the bag that was in daddy's hand. <laughs> You might experience that before as kids. They won't, look, they won't want you to bring home. What you bring in today, Dad? Sometimes I go to a little store and they have some cookies. I go to a little cookie shop and get cookies. Dad, did you buy some cookies today? But they were looking for what was in my hand. But as they got older, I didn't have to tell them this. They you know, kind of got a little bit bigger. They weren't looking for what was in my hand. They'd come and wrap around my leg and just hug me because I was dead. Amen. Amen. They wrapped around my leg because I was dead. They weren't worried about what was in my hand. They were just glad daddy was in the presence. They were just glad that daddy was here. And because they were glad that daddy showed up and they reverenced daddy by the hugs that they gave me, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It was no problem for me to give them whatever was in my hand. 